Um, okay, we had another question here. Um, oh, we got that one. Popcorn wanted to know, what are your thoughts on pay-for-play gigs? Um, in general, uh, I'm not a big fan of the pay-for-play scenario. Um, I think in lots of clubs and so forth here in Los Angeles and other big cities, I know that, that, that it happens. Um, th th while I say that I'm not a big fan of it, the truth is, you know, you pay to get on the radio in kind, not actually pay, but you know, your money is changing hands in different ways. Um, you pay for placement, you know, in record stores. You pay for placement uh, in any number of places in the music business. Um, so I'm not a big fan of it, you know. I think if you're building an audience for yourself as a live act, you're gonna start with your friends and family. You gotta get those folks out to the show. You gotta you know, hopefully translate your show is good enough to convince other people that might be in a, a venue um, to come back and see you again. Because the only way you really build a career in the live side of it is by selling tickets. Anything short of that is just not real. So um, pay for play, maybe if you're just getting started, you might do it a couple times, but I think I'd rather see you go out and do the work to build an audience um, and, and, or, or be creative like so many acts are doing today and play non-traditional venues, play in somebody's living room, play on stage it, you know, play, I had a, uh, an event out here in my backyard last summer, a, a website called Sounds from a room where they go and really, literally put on like bedroom, living room type concerts and invite people in and, it, and it's a lot of fun and something I would have never contemplated a while back. Okay.